The NFL on EA Sports is in the great state of Tennessee at Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking a field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Cleveland Browns. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. And the offensive penalty has us back where we started as they come up on a first and ten. Four down, four down. Alert. Four down. This is Lewis. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Now they'll run with Lewis. And some room to maneuver. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. stick with it on first down and he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there tackle made there by miles garrett and as a defensive end getting off the ball quickly swarming to the football making a tackle that's what we saw right there yeah and that's what their job is and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defense now the ball comes loose and this is picked up by the browns and they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 27. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. They try to... Hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play.
So the delay of game penalty backs him up. It's now second and seven. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And an alley to run. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Gets some nine yards and a first. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. They'll run for the first time with Johnson, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Mayfield now from the 50. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Brian Arakpo in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. The job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. From the gun, Mayfield. An open receiver, that's David Njoku. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A good pick up there of 20 yards. First and 10, Mayfield dumping it off for Johnson. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Mayfield now on second down. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Back with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. The Browns with a football to begin quarter number two. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. before he's taken down at the 29. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Flush to his right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. 
And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage, no gain. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. Try and run for it. Here's Johnson. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they outleveraged them and won the battle. Now Mayfield on fourth down. Flushed out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Hugh Jackson rolls the dice, but it doesn't work for him. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. And they got across the 50 last time but fumbled and turned it over, so they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better. Deion Lewis, the 40, past the 20. Touchdown, Titans! Deion Lewis, 74 yards. And the Titans get the quick strike touchdown. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And, partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again, <laughs> and again, <laughs> again, and again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Extra point put through by Sucka, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Heading out is the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. A good pick up there, a 22. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. A first down throw for Mayfield. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, partner, after the conference championship games, there was a lot of talk about the overtime rules, understandably so. Do you think that anything needs to be changed in the NFL overtime situation? I, I don't think so. And you got to remember, I'm an, old, I'm an old crone, all right? So here's the deal on it. The NFL jumped into popularity with an I overtime game, the Baltimore Colts being the New York Giants. Back in Wales, and they Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Brian Arakpo in there to get him for his second sack of the night. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Mayfield now. 
Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to Tennessee after this. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Cut. Mayfield on first down. Throw left side, caught by the tight end in Joku. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A very solid gain of 27. First down now, but that clock rolling. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot! Patriot! From the red zone now, Mayfield. That's complete right around the eight. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A gain of six there on first. The Browns try to get back and set quickly here. Time ticking away. On second down, Johnson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. The Browns on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And his kick here is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, one, one, one. that could change things in a big way. Yeah. I say go yeah. ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Yeah. Mariota now to throw on first down. That's complete to Taewon Taylor. And he lost the football. And I think the Browns got it. They did. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free, anything you can do to slow them down. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Mayfield now after the fumble recovery. Steps away to his left. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. First down, Mayfield. 
To the right side and complete to Njoku. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Mayfield. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. On the return, Jabril Peppers. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. The Browns on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. Mayfield to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. Jonathan Cyprian there defensively to make the play. And we're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Colquitt on to kick as he sends it away. Here's Jackson. Oh, and now he bowls him over. A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And it'll be Titan football. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing is Mariota. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. 
perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Mariota on third and two. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. First down, Mariota. Flushed out right. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. He got 29 yards that time. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 35-yard line. They run. This is Lewis. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. They try again with Lewis, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. He's had a big game tonight, and while no one's going to be overly concerned about that last play, you also know that the offense coordinator does not want to see that happen again. They want to get back to doing what they've been doing all game long. The run hasn't worked the last couple of plays. Now it's third and 14. Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Working out of the gun, Mariota buying time to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Miles Garrett able to finally wrestle him down for a huge loss, and that'll take us to fourth down. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. That's fielded at the eight-yard line. And now running and all deep in his own territory. He coughs up the football. And they take over already five yards deep into the red zone at the 15-yard line. It's been a struggle all game for them on offense. This was a chance to maybe provide a little bit of a spark with a punt return. Unfortunately, <laughs> that spark got doused. Yeah, and you call special teams the third phase, but you see here it can be the first phase sometimes. That is so true, right? It can, it can ignite it one way or the other, and boy, that didn't help them at all. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. And that run was what a lot of people call an explosive run. Gave them good yardage, solid yardage. They feel good about the whole thing, and they did it behind a two tight end set. It's always interesting to watch what offenses want to do with the two tight ends. Sometimes they line them up together for a power set. Sometimes they put one on each side of the line of scrimmage to balance things out. No matter what, though, when you see two tight ends on the field, your first thought is to think run. In this case, the offense was able to run successfully. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Three, three, three. Slam, slam, slam. Slam, slam. Go, go, go. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. 53 fight. Check, 53 fight. 
He'll get it up the middle. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Definitely be a disappointment to come out of this starting position with just three points. They need to try to dial something up now, third and ten. Three, three, three. Back now in Nashville. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Him. That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. And Suckup will put this one right through. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10 6. So they get the three, but you wonder now is that going to be enough? Excellent question because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Yeah, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. Here comes the Browns' offense back onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Gets past one man. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Give him six on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Second down, Mayfield. Dumps this to his running back, Chubb. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down. And that's exactly what he did. Mayfield looks to throw. Dancing to his left. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. down to the 47 here. Yeah, they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. 
found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now Mayfield. That's complete over the middle to Callaway. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Mayfield now on second down. He's going to look deep. And this is caught inside the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Jarvis Landry, 38 yards. And the Browns have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Mariota on first down. Forced out to his left. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push. And what do they create? Space, and he takes off. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. He'll look to throw. Walker with a grab, left side. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Mariota going to bring him up first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. Jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. He's back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Caught right side, Davis. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A gain of 32 that time. Haven't heard much from him all night, but welcome to the party, making his presence felt in a big way. They've kept him under wraps all night long, but boy, did he find a great time to bust out. Now Lewis. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. 
Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gutting for on first and goal. They'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle, and he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Deion Lewis, his second touchdown of the night. And the Titans have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but that, you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Browns offense trotting back onto the field. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And he's able to get up here to the 26. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains and take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. Huge first down, got to hurry. Yeah, now they have to get up there, get set, and then spike it. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now another timeout here called by the Titans. That'll leave them with just...
one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. to throw and he can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game and a stoppage here a timeout before this third down play takes place as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game the Browns on third down they've hit at 50 percent three of six to this point this is third and nine Mayfield. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Jonathan Cyprian there defensively to make the play. This secondary as a unit, they've worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. Detroit! Detroit! Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. He's got the first down and more past midfield. As they finally wrangle him in at the 48. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Four seconds. Three seconds. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.